Excel expert. You have a few minutes to restrict an Excel slicer to one selection only. What is the problem that Debra is trying to solve? Well, here I have a pivot table, a slicer and a chart, and I don't want the user to select more than one city at a time. If the person selects one city, everything is updating, that's perfect. But here is the magic trick. Let's put on multi-select and try to select a second city. The data is gone and I get this message. Cool effect, right? So let's go and help Debra do this. This is my raw data and the first thing I want to do is insert a pivot table. So just click inside, go to insert, pivot table, existing worksheet. And here you click on the arrow, output, let's go to B2, press enter, press enter, so two times enter. This is my pivot table. Let's add the category in the rows and the total sales USD in the values. Perfect. While I'm there, let's also add a slicer. So right click on city, add a slicer. This is my city slicer. Let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. We can put it here. Now, as you know, management loves cosmetics. So it's time for makeup. Let's make some changes. I'm going to call this sales. I'm going to select the data. Let's go under home. You click on this comma and then you click two times on decrease decimal. Perfect. The other thing I want to do is go to design and I'm going to select the design for this table. There we go. Let's also select the design for the slicer. So you click on it, slicer, you get something that matches. Last thing I want to do is double click here to make it smaller. Now that we have this, I want to add my chart. So for this, I need a prep table. Let's write prep table. And here I'm going to have the category and the sales. We're going to get the first category. So equal, we get the bars, perfect. Let's just drag this down. That's good. And now we need the sales. Whenever you reach sales, you get this scary formula. Don't worry, just press enter and you're fine. Now what you shouldn't do is double click here because you get the same number. So what is the problem here? If you look at the formula, I am getting the sales for a certain category. And this is hard coded as bars. I don't want to hard code. I want to use bars from here. So that's now good. Double click. You get the right numbers. Notice here you have G4, G5 and so on. Let's do a little bit of cosmetics. Now let's add our chart. This is very easy. I'm just going to select the data. Insert. You click here. This is a two dimension chart. And it looks very, very ugly. It needs also makeup. So this is going to be very fast. Click on the vertical axis, press delete on the keyboard. Same for the grid lines, delete. And now we're going to add the data labels. So click on the plus data labels. Let's bold a few things. So the sales, for example, which is the title you selected, go to home. You can just click on B. Same for those. And same for those. The last thing I want to do is change the color of those bars. I'm going to select this color. Perfect. This is my chart. Let's just move it a little bit here. There we go. Now, if you notice, if I select one city, this is updating and this is updating. The problem though is if I just click on the multi select and select a second city, now I have the sum of Boston and Los Angeles. And that's not good because Debra will be in trouble. So how do we first get rid of the numbers whenever I select more than one city? Let me show you the trick. You're going to love it. So first step is to add another pivot table. Don't look at me like this. You're going to see why in a second. So copy paste, paste the same table you have here. Remove the total sales USD. Let's add the city in my rows and get rid of the categories. Those are my cities. And if you noticed, Whatever I select here will come in this pivot table. Let's get rid of the grand total. So design grand totals of four rows and columns. Perfect. Now I can use a formula called is blank. So is blank open parenthesis. I'm going to select Los Angeles. 
close parenthesis, press enter. Since I have data here, this is false. Now, if I only select one city, for example, Boston, I don't have anything here, and this is true. If I select more than one city, you can see that the second one will always have data. So I can use this to my advantage with an if statement. Let me show you. We go here and we add an if is blank, open, close parenthesis, comma. So what is blank? Let's just select the right cell. This is Los Angeles. If it's blank, it means I only selected one data point. Otherwise, I selected more than one. So if I select more than one, I can use value if false. And here I can use another formula, which is NA open close parenthesis. This formula very few people know, and it will return an error. Let's close parenthesis, press enter. There we go. I selected more than one. So what happens? I get an A. And whenever there is an A, the chart will not plot. Now let's select, for example, one, Boston. You can see that we get the data. So we just have to drag this now. That's very easy. Let's use F4 on this one. So we have an absolute reference. Press enter. Double click. Perfect. Let's select another one. There we go. We have nothing in the chart. The other part of the riddle is the message and taking care of the sales title. Now, obviously, I just want to show you this. If you go to city, you can right click and do slicer settings. And here for caption, you can say select one city. However, if you do this, do you think that the user will listen to you? Well, you got your answer. And by the way, there is one thing that we forgot to do. You know what it is. We need to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That will make me very happy. Now, let's continue. We want to take care of the sales, so we're going to use the same technique. Let's put here labels and let's use an if statement. If, again, is blank, same technique, open parenthesis. This is my second one, Los Angeles. If it's blank, it means everything is okay. So what do I want? I want sales dash and then we have a double quotation and let's put the city. The city is here actually, because if it's blank, it means one city is selected and the city will be in E3, right? Otherwise, I don't want a title. So double quotation, double quotation, close parenthesis. Press enter. You get nothing because two cities are selected. Now to get this to the chart, it is a very simple trick also. Click on sales, go here and do equal this set. Press enter. You can see now there is nothing in this label. Now, if I select one city, notice how you get sales Boston, sales Los Angeles, and so on. The final trick is with the message. So for the message, we're going to have something similar. So let's do Ctrl C escape. After selecting this, we can just double click in the cell and paste it. Now here, the difference is that if it's blank, I don't want this message. So I can just have double quotation, double quotation. Otherwise, let's put a message, please select one city only. Let's close double quotation, press enter. Now we just go here, illustrations, shapes, and let's insert a shape here. We can put it here, for example. We need a bit of formatting. So shape fill, we want nothing. Shape outline, we want nothing. So now this shape is kind of invisible. Let's go here, equal this one. Press enter. Let's just move it like this. And now we can try it with two cities. So keep control press, select another city. You get your message. Now this message is still not nice, so we're gonna play with it. What we want to do is go to home and we're gonna change the color to gray. Then we're going to put it in the middle, doing this, and we're going to increase the font size. Perfect. I think this is looking good. And we're going to go and liberate Deborah. She was sweating like crazy.